Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. This particular footage, I will introduce two characters and two creatures, three of which are through data sheets, and one of which is through my Levitt's paradigm. So I hope you guys bear with me. The first one that I'll introduce to you guys, hopefully, is a creature known as the Saber Lantula. I hope you guys bear with me as I describe him to you and such. Saber Lantula. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 30 feet. Weight, 750 pounds. Status, villain, in creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, savage, destructive, and ferocious. It always enjoys spreading chaos. Lethality, only when craving or during a fight. Weaknesses, toxins, amputations, and being rivaled. Powers. It has the head, claws, and body fur of a Smilodon, or a saber-toothed tiger, and the body of a tarantula. It also has all the powers of both organisms. Eyes. Blood red in total of eight. Hair. Tannish gold and scruffy. Origin. One time, the villainous Dr. Scream decided to make a creature that is a biological hybrid between a Smilodon and a Tarantula. After being created and given the name Saber Lantula, it was commanded by Dr. Scream to kill the transparent X-Ray, who was the U.S. President of the Alpha Earth. Eventually, the powerful hero Invincible arrived in time and saved X-Ray by killing the deadly creature. Upset of this, Scream decided to resurrect the Saber Lantula, hoping it would succeed at some point in the future. Costume? None. Team Solitary for Dr. Scream and other creatures. Original Inspiration? Smilodons and Tarantulas. The next one I'll introduce is a character that one of the two characters, like both of the two characters I'll introduce in this video, I would have to do some explanations for in terms of the understanding. Just bear with me. Tall Terra. Real name, Terra Heiser. Height, 6 feet to 400 feet. Weight, 202 pounds to 74,000 tons. Status, hero, and younger stepsister of large lover. Base, two Earths mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, willful, protective, and loving. She would always help her older stepsister. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, low awareness, being rivaled, and rejection. Powers, she can grow up to 400 feet, has immense strength, can breathe underwater, and has some martial arts skills. She also wields an arsenal of futuristic weapons. Eyes light blue. Hair silverish black, wavy and flowing. Origin. Tara Heiser was once a seemingly average woman, who happened to be the younger stepsister of the heroic large lover. One day, Kara stated to her stepsister that she wanted to develop some of her own powers, and after a time of experimenting from the Blue Man clan, Tara finally got used with her destined powers. After being given a selection of futuristic weapons by the BNC, Tara joined Large Lover in a severe fight against the feral jungle titan known as Jaunga. After saving New York from the titan, Tara earned the name Tall Tara from the public, and was marked as a hero since. Costume. She simply wears 
nothing official, which means nothing in particular. She just wears whatever she feels like wearing, you know? Teams, solitary, with large lover, and other heroes. Original inspiration, Terra from it. The next one that I'll introduce is another creature known as the Ultra Gator. And I hope you guys would bear with me on this one. Ultra Gator. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 3.5 miles. In terms of length rather than height, but you know. Weight unrevealed. Status, villain. And creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior. Savage and moody. He'd always serve his master. Lethality. Very deadly. He's a devastating kaiju threat. Weaknesses. Explosives, stab wounds, and being rivaled. Powers. He possesses all alligator-based powers, along with a huge size, can breathe fire, walks on two legs, and possesses four arms and two tails. Eyes, deep green, hair, none. Origin. One time, Dr. Scream decided to create a creature originating from the DNA of an alligator. And after some processing, Scream finally created a massive abomination known since as the Ultra Gator. After being commanded by his master to demolish St. Louis, Ultra Gator encountered and fought against the opposing Cyber Croc, a massive robot crocodile with a corrosive mouth spray. As they were fighting, the kaiju defender known as Kaiborg eventually showed up and defeated the two monsters. Upset of this event, Scream resurrected both the Cyber Croc and the Ultra Gator for another future attack on the globe. Costume He's covered in deep purple scales. Team Solitary for Dr. Scream and other creatures. Original Inspiration Kaijus and Super Gator. Those are the three out of four characters that I've introduced. The first three, like I said earlier, is of the data sheets, and the fourth one, just to get, do you guys a favor, would be directly from my Levitt's Paradigm. And here are the best calculations, like, remember what I said about Tall Taro's older stepsister, Large Lover? I'll be introducing her to you guys in the format here, and I hope you would understand. Large Lover, real name, Carolyn Heiser. Height, 6 feet 7 inches to 500 feet. Weight, 243 pounds to 97,000 tons. Status, hero, base, 2 Earths, mobile. Intelligence, 4 brains. Behavior, intellectual and loving. Lethality during a fight or threatened. Weaknesses, misogyny and low, aw and low awareness. Powers. Grows huge, immense strength, is capable of breathing underwater, and has high IQ. Weapons, none. Eye color, um, deep green, two eyes that are deep green. Her hair is whitish blonde in chin length, and it's flowy. The out outfit she wears is a futuristic battle suit, you know? All, and the battle suit and her destined powers are derived from, of course, the Blue Man Clan. Teams, solitary, and partners. Species, former human. Beauty level above average. Special features, genetic powers, and high IQ number. Well, high and IQ number, I believe. Wa transportation, walking, or powers. Occupation, protector of innocence and expert scientist. Friends, heroes, enemies, villains, and misogynists. Inspiration, Garganta. Just so you know, Tall Terra and Large Lover are both inspired from characters from a very little known comic franchise called AC Comics. And um, they mainly include like, the first 
and longest running all female superhero team known as the Fem Force or the Fiend Force, either one. And the two characters, Garganta and Terra Fremont, are both members of that team. So I hope that gives you an understanding of how Tall Terra and Large Lover are both affiliated in terms of inspiration, if that makes any sense at all, just to give you guys an understanding. And I hope it wouldn't be too much of a problem on your guys' behalf. Well, um, uh, those are the four characters, well, two characters and two creatures that I've introduced for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your uh, month and such. And just so you guys know, I am hoping to uh, be with my dad in terms of a road, uh, one of his business trips down to Wyoming, I think. But of course, I have to earn it and I have to make these work. It just occurred to me to bring it up. I'm sorry if it's like something that you don't really want to hear about. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. I hope you guys have a fine time, and until next time, in transmission.